when we chatted after that Newcastle game, you were on sky high. What's it been like since? Fantastic. Um, I'm very happy, you know, to be to be here uh, in Manchester, and I'm here quite two months already. It's good. Uh, I'm still adapt. You know, new stuff, new new language, new football, uh, Premier League, uh, the new players, the new system, the new weather. <laughs> So, but it's still good so far. First answer, and you've mentioned the weather. You've disappointed me there. No, but I'm... No, but the weather You never used now, to be like that. Okay, I'm not... You've been in the sun too long. But for me, it's not, uh, it's not a problem, the weather. Uh, now, in this moment of my life, I see the priorities in all the things. When Maybe when I was very, very young, uh, the weather was, like, the key for me, but not anymore. All the things you've won, when we were speaking after that Newcastle game, the reception you got, not just from the supporters, but people around the club and people you hadn't seen for a while, and you said you wouldn't get that anywhere else. Where does that rank in your career, that, that day and how you felt? Probably the top three, four, five. Because I never felt, I never, well, I felt before, but very similar. I was so nervous. I was like, when you do, 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 do how you say, uh, when your first game? Uh, debut. Debut. Uh, it's like you've, with a lot of nervous with 18, 19. And I felt the same, to be honest. Uh, but it was good. Uh, it was good. Uh, one day before the game, I was speak with my friends and there was so exciting. My family, especially my mom. But in the day of the game was Strange, to be honest. I I felt very, very, very nervous, but it was good. We won the game, I scored goals, and uh, the people, the expectation was unbelievable. This stadium, seeing my my name, as you can see, that it's it's hard, you know. Even the stuff that I won before, uh, the feelings is still here, you know. Uh, I'm not I cannot hiding that because. You don't know what's gonna what's gonna happen. The feelings from the persons that they don't saw me for many many years. But it was good, brilliant day. Um, I was so glad in that in that morning. What have you made of the Premier League itself compared to the one you left? Any difference? Similar. Uh, the football is faster than any league that I that I played. The players they are a little bit more honest. In my opinion, what I mean, honest is not they don't kick purpose or whatever. They they are more honest. Um, the referees do don't give you many fouls. <laughs> <laughs> and I, as I told you, I'm still adapt, but it's good. I you know I play for six years in the Premier League, so I have I have good memories. But it's new chapter of my life, so I have to adapt again, reset again. But it's good. It's good so far. And the roller coaster that is Manchester United. When exactly. you win, it's there, and when you're down, it's a disaster. Exactly. You remember that? Yes. It's the, as I told you, your your, your friend, it's the criticized doll is going to exist. You know, you play in one of the biggest clubs in the world, so it's happened. But we have to deal with that. We have to to have to be able to accept the criticism because Manchester is like that. It's always spurred you on personally. Do you get the feeling it, it's going to do that to this group? Yes, yes. Uh, as I my second day with the group, I had a speeches in a, in a in a hotel that I said that I'm so proud to be here. I see a huge potential in in this club and these new players, this new generation. So I'm here to help, you know, with my experience, with my goals, with my the way I play. I hope to I hope to play to help the team to be uh, in the top level. So this is why I'm here, to win stuff. And talking of helping, um, I, I was very lucky first time round to, to know you really well, see you firsthand, your DNA, your standards, what you demand from yourself. Do you think that can rub off now on some of the younger players here when they see you in, in that mould? I hope so. I'm, as I told you before, I'm here to help the club, first of all. The players, um, who want to learn is just to be next to me uh, daily day, daily life. So I'm always the same. My ethic of working is the same. But I, I think some points they have to come from inside of the players, especially 
the young players. I don't criticize nobody. This is not my my role to criticize because they criticize me a lot. So I'm not going to criticize the. Other. But I don't mean only only in the football. In this new generation, since probably 1995, they thinking different. The life, the football, uh, the struggles. This is have to come from inside of you. Uh, you have to accept some points that I don't agree, uh, because I remember in our generation, 85. It was more difficult to be or to play in the first team. I remember how tough it was to play for Manchester United, even in the national team. But if you see around the world now, the things is coming a little bit easier, mm -hmm. and they don't appreciate a lot. This is my my point of view. To give your your the answer, I'm here to help the kids if they want help, because I. You know, I'm I'm here every day, but it needs to come from inside of you. But do you think them looking at your standards without even speaking to you would have a positive? Yes, approach? of course. If they if I speak with them, they listen. They want to improve. But as I told you, uh, they want to. If they want to learn, they have to do it. Because if you speak, okay, it's good to help, but they need to show off as well. You understand? I don't know if I, I expect I, I do myself. totally understand, yeah. Uh, the attitude's got to come from in here first and foremost. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm here to help, as I told you. I'm here to help the club, Manchester, to help to win stuff, to help the players. Because I love this club, everyone knows this is why I'm come back. It's not for, I, I didn't back for holidays, I'm back to win stuff if it's possible. And if we are if you're thinking in the same way, I think we will be uh, will be possible. Talking of winning stuff, there's a lot of football to be played between now and May. What what would be success for you this season for United? Winning a trophy? Of course. Uh, the most important thing in football is to win stuff, in my opinion. And I think Manchester, they have to think like that. Uh, will be difficult, of course it will be difficult. We have a change, new players, new system, yes, but it doesn't matter. We have to think in positive, we have to believe, we have to be together. If we have to sacrifice for something to for the club. We have to do it. If not, it will be impossible to win stuff. But I believe, I think we have a huge potential. We have amazing players. And you have to believe high. We have to believe big. And uh, I hope, to be honest, to win something this year. You certainly did that in the second half on Wednesday. When you got that late goal, did that feel like a watershed moment, a pivotal moment I for hope you? So. I hope so. It was an unbelievable night. Uh, to lost to zero for three two, it's 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 crazy. It's a big team that yeah, a very good team that uh, Atalanta. But we have to be like that almost every games. You know, we have to be positive and play, try to play good or winning every game because you have the responsibility to play in this club to win stuff and you know to be at least very professional. But I believe I know it will be tough, but I think it's possible. Talking of big clubs, this weekend when Manchester United meet Liverpool, you've been there, done it. Remember 07, 08 when you scored at Old Trafford against them. How much are you looking forward to experiencing this fixture again? And what is it like for a United player to play Liverpool? Well, it's always good uh, to play against uh, big, game, big, big teams, not just only Liverpool, but Chelsea or uh, Arsenal. It's always, it's always uh, tough and good. And the motivation is coming by himself. So it's good. I, I hope after the Wednesday night that Sunday we can continue uh, with this with this vibe, with this positive. Uh, will be tough because Liverpool have have good team and uh, they are in the top of the the league. But we play in home. We have to believe that uh, it will be a tough game, but it's possible to win. We have to to play good, compact, to don't concede goals. And uh, we will see what's going to happen. But you can remember how special these fixtures are between these two teams. Very special. I know when we play against Liverpool, Anfield or, or in home, it's always special because it's one of the, the best teams, not only in Europe, but in the world as well. So it will be tough. And I hope 
fingers crossed that we can have three points in this game. And just finally, what, how different would you say the Cristiano Ronaldo is now to the one you left in a red shirt? In terms of playing or mentality, really. spirit. In terms of character, personality, I think I didn't You haven't change. changed at all, I can say. I don't think so, maybe no. a few things. But my my anger, it's, it's, it's the same. My, my mentality, it's the same. My philosophy of the game, it's, it's the same. In, in terms of player, probably I changed. I, of course, I was more winger, probably more fast, dribbling more. And now I'm more, more objective, you know. I save uh, more the legs for the right moments, the moments to kill the game. Uh, because, you know, more experience of the game give you that possibility to say when you can go, when you can stay. But I think I'm inside of me, I, I'm still the same anger, you know, want to win stuff and still motivated, I still want to learn and still want to win stuff. This is my, my mentality. Brilliant. Good to see you again. Good luck Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you.